All right, in today's video, we'll be shooting the Spear Gold Dot. As you can see, that's 115 grain. 30 Super Carry is also 115 grain. So I'm really excited to shoot those through our targets today and see what we get. The tools we'll be using is a 30 Super Carry shield from uh, Smith & Wesson and this Canik is the TP9 Elite SC. So lastly, we'll be shooting this meat target, the watermelon behind it. We'll be taking some shots with the Chrono. And we'll also be taking some shots into that ballistic gel that's clear ballistic gel, fresh out of the box, hadn't even been shot yet. So that's today's test. Really excited about it. And like I said, we'll be shooting this meat target last. So make sure you guys hang around and see what happens there because I'm really excited to see it. All right, first up, we get some speeds with the nine millimeter. Get an average, we'll do a three shot average. All right, son, on you. 12.27, again, 12.07, 12.13. All right, Jake, what's that average, my man? About 12.16. 12.16, 12.16 average for the nine millimeter, 115 grain. So let's take out the 30 super carry and see what we get. All right, now let's get a three shot average with the 30 super carry, 115 grain. All right, son. If you're ready. 1059. 1023. 1191. All right, Jake. What's that three shot average? 1091. 1091. All right, just for grins, son, take a couple more shots with this 30 super carry because we had two that were in really low tens and then we had one at 1191. Let's see what we get. Take two more shots. 961. 10.05. So that 30 super carry ammo is really all over the place with consistency. All right, next we'll shoot uh, some shots into this ballistic gel and uh, see what kind of penetration we get. All right, let's take a shot with the nine millimeter and the ballistic gel and see what kind of penetration we get. All right, looks like it stayed in. There you go, Jake. See if we can't yank that out. Looks like it stayed in. It got a good square hit. I can see from here you got some good mushrooming. All right, well, let's yank her out and see what we get. Um, 13 inches? No, nope, 12 inches. All right, well, let's yank her out. From here, I can already see you got some pretty good mushrooming. There she is. Yep, really good pedaling, really good mushrooming, and about 12 inches of penetration there. So let's take the 30 Super Carry and uh, see what we get. Okay, now we'll take a shot with the 30 Super Carry. All right, looks like it stayed nice and level. And looks like it went about the same distance. So maybe 13 inches. Yep, 13, about an inch more penetration. Let's yank it out. And see what it looks like. All right, there she is. So good pedaling, just like the nine millimeter of mushroom in there. And it went about 13 inches. So now let's uh, take our meat target over there and uh, see where the rubber meets the road. I'm really excited to see what happens here. All right, we got the nine millimeter back out. We got the meat target. All right, Jake, put some rounds in it. Let's see what happens, man. All right, so we'll take a closer look at this destruction. We got the ribs on the front. Got some steak in the back. As you can see, it just came all the way through all of that and totally destroyed our watermelon here. So let's see what kind of destruction we get from the, the 30 Super Carry, see if it's anything close. Okay, so we yanked those ribs out from the nine millimeter. As you can see, we went through some bone there, went through some bone right there. So hopefully we can get some good shots like that with the 30 Super Carry and uh, see what happens. All right, we got the 30 Super Carry back out. All right, son, let's take these shots, see what happens. All 
All right, let's go check it out. Okay, well, obviously that still would have been lethal, but gotta, gotta admit there was less damage with the 30 Super Carry overall than the, the nine millimeter. This actually stayed intact this time with the 30 Super Carry. Lung tissue is still destroyed. So obviously, like I said, it's still fatal, but overall a lot less damage. What were you saying, Jake, about the nine? Yeah, that nine, I think you still got them bullets in your pocket. Nine opened up a lot more than the 30 Super yeah. Carry did. Got some, some hits through. Yep, got a couple of hits through bone. Yep, through and through. But like I said before, overall the higher damage was done by the nine millimeter, which you'd expect. Uh, this still would be lethal, clearly, with the 30 Super Carry. But that's today's video. We appreciate you guys checking it out. I had a lot of fun. We'll catch you next time. Junior, out.